church of Jesus Christ will not only be relevant, but revelational in leading change. I have a dream that someday there will be a place where people embrace resistance as a normal part of their everyday spiritual growth. A place where the Lord would so bless them indeed, so enlarge their territory. His hand would so obviously be upon this group of people that their lives would be characterized by an assigned advantage for success. God calls that favor that the people of the world who are not Christ followers would be so compelled to follow Christ and become leaders in this world. I have a dream that someday Christians would walk in such Christ likeness that the peace of God would truly bypass their understanding. A place where peace is obtained as a result of paying a great price through fighting for what is best, that on our shield of faith would be written, unavendable. In other words, you cannot penetrate my faith in God, my faith in people, and my belief that the best is yet to come. You cannot incriminate my ability to see the best, believe the best, and live the best. A place where my shield of faith, my ability to believe in the power of God and that His way is the best way, has pounded out the steel of unoffendableness on the anvil of hard knocks. I have a dream that someday alignment will take precedence over assignment, a place where the deposit of greatness in others will be so recognized that it will elevate all those who come into its sphere. I have a dream, a reachable dream, because it's a doable dream, a dream about a place called the church where people get it, a place where core values are the basis for greatness, a dream for a place where principles are exalted over methods, a place that becomes a model of excellence because of the emphasis on quality that ultimately breeds followable excellence. I have a dream that someday the church of our Lord Jesus Christ will be characterized by the strength of its relationships, where we are not known just as a hospital for the hurting, but rather for a culture of leadership, where we influence the worldly influencers of culture through the establishment and visible manifestation of a leadership paradigm, a place that emphasizes equipping the saints rather than just meeting the needs of the saints. I have a dream. I dream about a place where there are more energy producers than energy demanders. A place where the emotional synergy is a byproduct of spiritual maturity. A place where creativity and innovation are the twin engines by which we operate. A place which is truly said, that place is the most creative place in the universe. I have a dream, a dream about a place where dream teams are birthed and nurtured, where we are more important than me, where one plus one really does equal three, where weak links are fused with strong links to make an unbreakable chain, where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts, where strengths are maximized and weaknesses are dealt with, where growth is a result of stretching that creates an unstoppable flow. I have a dream, and I'm glad you're a part of it, that you believe in it, a dream that is bigger than any one of us, and yet is contingent on each of us participating. And oh, there is so much more. I'm so glad you've chosen to be a part of not my dream, not our dream, but of God's dream. Let's build the dream together.